What's up? It's Dolo Dude Deuce Duke back at you with another one of these videos. And I know we just got done talking about how I got into video games, and I'm quite sick of talking about myself. But in today's video, I'm going to talk about how I got into Star Wars. You are now tuned in to the third episode of Urban. Star Wars is one of the greatest franchises of all times. Even if you've never seen the movies, most people can quote a Yoda or a Darth Vader line. And yes, Star Wars has been around my entire life, so this is the very specific ways how I got into the franchise. Now, in the previous video, I talked about how my father bought me the Xbox. Now, of course, he bought me the new Xbox, which I was happy about. One of the things that came with the new Xbox was a free demo. And I got two free demos on one disc. One of the demos was Tetris, which of course everybody knows Tetris for being a very class, very classic puzzle game. The other game that I got was called Star Wars The Clone Wars. And no, I'm not talking about the animated series. I'm talking about the original Star Wars Clone Wars video game. Only real OG Xbox players know what I'm talking about. I can kind of see that's where the uh, imagination kind of started when it comes to Star Wars. But one of the main things that got me into it was the fact that I had visited my uncle and I think the year was probably, the year had had to been around like 2004, 2005. I was visiting my uncle and my uncle had an Xbox sitting in the living room. And of course I was an Xbox player. So I brought over a couple of my games and I was playing it. But my uncle didn't have a lot of games to himself. So my uncle had to borrow some of some of some games from his friend. And his friend borrowed us a lot of great games. He borrowed us The Elder Scrolls 3 Merowin. And um, he borrowed us a, a couple of cool games like Halo and all of that stuff. But there's two games that he let my uncle borrow. One of them was Star Wars Battlefront, and the other one was Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Now, without thinking, I was just kind of like, okay couple more Star Wars games it's whatever playing Star Wars Battlefront it blew my mind Star Wars Battlefront is a is a great game if you've never played it you really should and I'm not talking about that new Star Wars Battlefront which that's cool but I'm talking about that original Star Wars Battlefront that's the one that I got into um Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic not gonna lie the first time I played it I hated it because I wasn't used to a Star Wars game not being action filled and I damn sure wasn't used to RPGs at the time. Which was ironic because I did like playing the Elder Scrolls 3 Merowind, but for some reason the Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic turned me off. Good thing I got into it later because it's one of my favorite games to date now, but um, that's beside the point. Anyways. Playing those Star Wars games kind of got me exposed into the universe. But what got me into the cinematic universe of Star Wars? Now, like I said, the year must have been around like 2004. I kept seeing commercials about um, the new Star Wars movie that was coming out, which 2004, it was Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. Now, I don't care how you feel about the prequels. I like the damn prequels. And I think George Lucas is a genius because the prequels, for me, served its purpose. Most people said it was more aimed at kids and well, at the time I was a kid and if it wasn't for those prequel movies, I wouldn't have got into Star Wars, so hey. But anyways, the movie trailer was all over TV. It was like, ooh, discover how Darth Vader became and you know, I saw familiar faces from the video games and I was like, okay, cool. I gotta watch this movie. Now, of course, growing up urban, we didn't necessarily have a lot of money to just go casually watch your movies. It's whatever. But one day, stroke of luck, and this must have been the year like 2005. My dad, we had cable and everything, had all the HBO, you know, Star, Showtime, Cinema. And um, Star Wars must have been playing, and he was watching. And I, you know, double had, had to do a double take on the TV screen, like, okay, what's that? And I was like, hey, Pops, can I uh, can I watch this with you? And he's like, yeah, we was watching Star Wars Episode 3. And uh, 
it was about I don't know 15 minutes into the movie when I started watching it but by the end of the movie I was hooked it was me and Star Wars through and through because man I don't know it was just something about that movie something about that movie that really caught me and I was like wow this story is amazing and one of the things that really helped that movie get me into Star Wars is the fact that I knew these characters from the video games but the video game never spoiled the fact that this guy was Darth Vader of course if you were an original Star Wars fan it wasn't a surprise to you but it was a it was a nice surprise for me and it really it really made me want to know what happened next so of course uh everybody was talking about it at the school and talking about what happens next and of course me i didn't really want people to spoil it too much i wanted to go out and seek the original movies myself but whenever a star wars movie was on tv i would get it whenever there was a star wars game i would get that because i wanted to learn more about this franchise like I said, I didn't like Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic before, but I got into Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic later. And I could tell you, it's one of the main reasons why I got deeper into the franchise due to the fact that it was a phenomenal story. Like, if you've never played Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, man, I'm telling you, the story is good enough to rival the movies. And I'm not just talking about those prequel movies, all of the movies. Like honestly, it had one of the biggest plot twists in gaming, which is ironic because Star Wars has one of the biggest plot twists in cinema. It's pretty dope. Anyway, man, the story blew me away in the video game and I thought Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith was so damn dope. I love seeing Darth Vader get burned because I ain't, I ain't never seen anything like that on a movie, especially from a character that I knew and played as in video games. So it just blew me away even more that this guy was Darth Vader. I don't know, it just blew my mind. And then Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, you know, the whole tale about Darth Reverend. And then, you know, I'm not trying to spoil too much because I want y'all to go and play the game. But I just thought it was phenomenal. The characters were believable and the story was engaging. Star Wars Battlefront, of course, is kind of like taking you through what it means to be a Star Wars foot soldier. And of course, I liked that. All of these things really helped me get into Star Wars. One last thing that hooked me into the franchise for good, and this was way later, this was like about 2008, 2009. I think Obama was president at the time, to be honest. And it was around Christmas time. And for some reason, they were playing all of the Star Wars movies in a row. And of course, I couldn't miss out on that opportunity. I was like, I'm gonna be watching all of the Star Wars movies. But of course, I keep bringing it up black households we don't got a lot of money so there's not cable TV in each room there's hardly even TVs in each room so I had to stay in the living room every day to watch the movies and of course that didn't work because of course there was somebody else in the family that wanted to watch their damn show I don't even remember who at the time but long story short I couldn't watch all six of the uh, Star Wars movies and it devastated me. And I remember crying to my mom like, mom, this is gonna be the only chance I get to watch all of the movies. She was like, don't worry about it. Like I said, it was around Christmas time and well, my mom knows me better than anybody. So of course Christmas comes around, it's Christmas Eve. And I think I was still kind of upset about the fact that I couldn't watch the Star Wars movies cause I literally missed out on my chance. Then my mom walks in with a DVD collection of all six of the Star Wars movies. Man, when I tell you I was locked in my room for about a week straight, I watched the movies all in a row. I watched them again. I watched them backwards and I watched all of the deleted scenes and the extra footage. I had been so immersed into the universe that I was able to quote lines with the best of them, able to answer the questions with the best of them, and I knew right then that I was a fanboy. Even though I've never been to a con convention, I was a Star Wars fan. And wasn't anybody gonna tell me that I wasn't? And well, shit, I've been a Star Wars fan ever since. So, yeah. I'm trying to think about what else got me into Star Wars. And I think that's about it.
in conclusion i don't really want to get into it too much because i want to make another video about why i love star wars this is just how i got into star wars but anyways i hope you guys liked it definitely comment when you got into star wars or you know if you're into star wars i'm definitely going to be reading them all anyway um i'm way too humble to ask you to like and subscribe so i hope you enjoyed yourself definitely leave comments like i said and uh it's your solo dello fellow dolo dude deuce duke and i grew up urban the diary. Single pass. Single pass.